Hey there, my friends, what is happening? Vitaly Dubin is here, founder of Bitcoin's Wall Stop, and welcome to another episode of Today in Crypto Show, where I'm discussing what the heck is going on in the crazy volatile crypto markets and how you can profit from it. And today, we're going to take a look at the bounce that we are currently seeing in the crypto market, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other coins are steadily going up and bouncing from the recent crashes that we have seen the last week and the question of course in everyone's mind whether or not we are going to see all-time highs once again how fast we're going to back on trap or is this the start of a bear market we're going to take a look at the facts in the chart and i want to share with you exactly what i'm seeing right now and what needs to happen in the coming days and weeks so that we do continue with our bull market and also i want to share with you very exciting news about ethereum and potentially apple getting involved with crypto so a lot of excitement getting back into the markets you can see the market cap right now at 1.8 trillion dollar 4.5 percent during the day we're seeing bitcoin up slightly ethereum slightly up binance coin is up right now 380 dollars uh getting back on track and looking at where bitcoin is at let's take a look at this after we have broken on the four hourly candles you can see this was a falling wedge uh, that we formed for Bitcoin you can see that we have broken it uh, and then successfully retested the previous resistance turning back into support we've seen it happen over and over again in all of the corrections and all of the dips and it looks like right now we have changed our uh, trend uh, to the bullish trend right we are pretty much you know getting getting actually we are getting close to that right now uh, we need to close above uh, $41,400 uh, to really flip this trend over uh, but we are getting the right track what uh, really is happening uh, and we need to see it happening is the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average uh, we are getting closer to the death cross that we do not want to see it happening so you can see right here the green line represents the 50 days moving average and the blue line represents the 200 days moving average and right now they are getting closer to meet and we don't want to see this meet in the bull market we never see those lines meet only in a bear market and currently we are having body candles closing on a daily below the 200 days moving average this is a rarity this is something that do not happen in a bull market but we grew so fast from three thousand hundred dollars all the way to sixty four thousand five hundred dollars that the market had to cool off which just grew too quickly compared to the previous bull markets and um, you know currently we are below the 200 days moving average and uh, looking at the previous bull cycles uh, we have not seen uh, the body of the candles close below 200 days moving average we have never seen it happen in the previous market if you look back uh, you will clearly see that in 2016 2017 bull market we have not seen body of the candles on a daily close below this blue line never uh, only after we started the bear market we did see this happening so this is one bit of a warning sign but just because it has not happened before doesn't mean that uh, you know we are right now entering necessarily a bull market we have to move faster and and higher and on the weekly we have to close above the 21 weeks moving average um above this one just add this moving average on a weekly 
uh, we must close the week which is in three days from now uh, above the 21 week moving average so you see this line 21 week moving average which is about forty seven thousand uh, dollars ideally would like to see this week close above this right we started on a weekly uh, a clear bearish trend right now uh, after this uh, big fall we did see a huge volume uh, coming uh, for the bears this week and uh, in order to stay in our bull market we must very soon climb back above the 21 week moving average we must do it so um, right now it's uh, too early to still be very excited about this um, bounce because it might be uh, what's called a dead cat bounce all right so uh, very very important you can see this this bearish and usually this bearish trend continue for several weeks until it flip yet again to the bullish trend so we are still we are still unfortunately in the bearish trend and with that you need to be cautious um, not to be overly excited overly bullish because the prices might uh, go down still yet we might see a rejection because the people that have bought uh, crypto they bought Bitcoin you know they are down right now 40 50 60 percent uh, in their portfolios and the one will see it climb back you know to maybe minus 15 minus 20 percent or break even they will see it as an opportunity to get out of the market they got scared the market is in extreme fear right now still right so uh, it is too early to be overly optimistic and bullish right now because we might see this as just a, a little that can bounce and uh, will continue lower so that's uh, for the analysis of what's going on in the market right now ethereum is the same thing it is recovering it's like recovering faster than bitcoin you can see on the daily chart we are actually uh, back on track and uh, closing the daily candle above this one which is a very positive sign and the way that we are looking in right now is also very good uh, meaning that we can like is likely that we continue going and establish three thousand dollars uh, for ethereum soon but again it's too early to see ethereum climbing back all the way to its previous all-time high we might see another week or two of going sideways and consolidating or maybe going lower once again uh, before we see the prices come back now i want to share with you some very cool news first of all the iconic billionaire investor carl icon is actually looking with his fund to go and allocate several billions of dollars into crypto and he is very bullish about ethereum he understands ethereum with ethereum is the underlying blockchain so ethereum has two things you can use it as a payment system or you can use it as a store of value so ethereum and bitcoin are different bitcoin to me is just a store of value that's what billionaire investor i uh, carl icon sa uh, said we also see Kevin O'Leary is so excited about the DeFi space, which is sitting on Ethereum, that he is actually launching his DeFi investing company. Yes, Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank is launching his own DeFi company, which is very exciting to see. Uh, and uh, then we have uh, the volume, the volume for Ethereum on the spot has surpassed the bitcoin volume in the past months with all-time highs plus 20 billion in daily spot volume which is more than bitcoin ethereum trading volume has begun to surpass bitcoin that's very very exciting um, we're seeing layer two solutions are implemented on uniswap which is a decentralized exchange um, on the ethereum ecosystem and they're using arbitrum right now to help them scale that's another exciting news and we are seeing paypal is enabling bitcoin 
and crypto withdrawals. User will be able to move crypto to their own wallet in the near future. This is very exciting development, very exciting bullish news for Bitcoin and for crypto. Finally, we're seeing it happening. Uh, what has started back in October 2020. And also, we are seeing Apple. Apple is coming into play with new listings in jobs at Apple for business development manager for alternative payments. Apple hiring crypto experts, that's the bottom line. Uh, and in the resume, uh, they're saying for the key person for this business development manager, it has to be five years experience working in or with alternative payment providers such as digital wallets, BNPL, fast payments, cryptocurrency, and etc. So they did include cryptocurrency in the description of this job. It means that Apple is seeking and moving to go into the cryptocurrency space, which is very, very exciting to see. So that summarizes for it right now. Just because we have a heinous and big correction in the market doesn't mean that it is the bear market just yet. We might see the prices of Bitcoin still rise this year to over $100,000. It is the more likely scenario after a period of consolidation and panic is over until we do reach a blow off top because we didn't see this blow off top. We have been consolidating around $58,000, $65,000 for quite some time uh, and then we crashed, right? So uh, we do see in the, uh, in the bull markets a parabolic blow of top and then the game is over and we enter the bear market. And also keep in mind, we are just days away from the launch of Forsage BUSD 100% decentralized platform that has enabled over 1 million members to generate close to two billion dollars in profits for the community members in 100 decentralized way so be on the lookout for this to launch very very soon because this is the platform that you can definitely use to potentially uh, generate tens and hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars now with that being said hope you have a fantastic day and uh I'll see you guys in the next episode of Today in Crypto Show.